Hello tubers, it's me again, Ben, Rocking Winding River Park, coming off of a couple of successes, um, feeling like doing it again. Now this could be the time that I get smacked down and not catch a fish. Thursday night I came, I hooked a couple of pickerel and they broke me off. Um, needless to say I wasn't happy. Last night I came and I was beside myself. I was ready to quit. Got broke off a few times. I wasn't catching anything. I was pretty down on myself. Then I caught a one pound bass just up ahead in the corner. And it was a whole new world. Then this morning I caught a two pound, uh, two pound, ten ounce bass. So I'm loving this fishing again. So anyway, I'm back out here tonight. Just to the edge of the shade, and we'll cast in that corner. bait again. That was a large pickerel. Tree and a fish, I think. Yeah, I'm probably gonna start packing up around seven. All right, there's another bite. Here comes another pickle stealing my my lure. Not this time, pal. I don't know what's wrong with the pole. Not this time. <laughs> you can flop around all you want, buddy. I got my lure back. <laughs> of course, it's stuck in the net now, but. taking my lure sucker. This is a tiny one. I'm ashamed to say I used the net. There. Yeah, I know, this is very Guggenish. But I got this back twice in a row. I've lost about eight of them to pickerel. So I'm using the net, I don't care. This is my last one.
break that off, sucker. He did. I don't believe it. This is what I'm using. The Yum Dingers. They are... Smoke Pearl LAM, whatever that means. That's what I caught the two bass on. A white on bottom, like a navy on top, with uh, uh, silver and red sparkles on them. That's what I caught the bass on last night, and what I caught the bass on this morning. And that's what I just lost catching that pickle on. So I'm going to go with that. I got a couple casts over there, and then I got to pack it in. Sorry, Fluke. Gotta get the slime off my hands. So the Texas rig worm catches pickerel. That's good to know. What do I say? Three days here at Winding River Park. Thursday morning, Friday night, this morning, and tonight. So it's like four shifts in three days. Uh, first night wasn't so great. I got broke off by a bunch of pickerel. Uh, I haven't seen a perch in this lake in a while. I haven't caught any, didn't catch any the last few days. Uh, I got broke off by, I don't know, two or three pickerel. Uh, on the ultralight, uh, the first night. Um, I guess you can't use a Palomar on a, <laughs> on a fluorocarbon, on a, num a, number, a number four uh, fluorocarbon. So, I don't know. I caught a bunch of fish on that line before. I uh, had no problem, but the pickerel seemed to just break it right off. So, uh, how was uh, uh, Thursday Thursday morning? Last night I had a bad night, a really bad night. I got broke off a bunch of time, times again. I got stuck in the trees. Um, then I caught that one pound bass up there in the corner. And everything was right with the world. Uh, and then this morning, uh, within 20 minutes of me getting in the water, I caught a, a two pound, 10 ounce bass. That was the, high, the highlight of my fishing career pretty much. Uh, it was great. Uh, I caught that down in that corner. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I must have caught about 10 pickerel and like seven of them broke, broke me off. So I started using the net and uh, that saved my lure. But um, I did have a pickerel break me off on the uh, Skeet Reese uh, Shaky Head Senko uh, medium action pole. I figured, okay, he's not breaking this line. I think I have a number eight on here. I actually have braid with a number eight lead, uh, fluorocarbon leader. And I figured, right, he's not breaking this, but he broke it. So all I can say is uh, you can't catch pickerel on a fluorocarbon if you're using a Palomar not on the hood, uh, on the hook. Um, they break it. All right, it's the only thing I think of. Uh, I caught a two, uh, almost a three pound bass on the same pole with the same leader and had no problem. I caught a small bass later on on the ultralight with the fluorocarbon, number four fluorocarbon. No problem. Didn't break that. So pickerel, um, it, it must be just the way they, um, the way they fight. They snap around a lot. And eventually they break the knot you have on your hook. So uh, they didn't bite them. I don't believe they bit any of them. It's just the hook, the hook was in their mouth, and they just kept snapping around and uh, until the line, until the line gave way. And I could see the the lure falling in the water, and there I am held with the lines. I, I got it. When I catch a pickerel, if I want to land them, I got to use the net. And you saw me do that. So. Um, Back to love and fishing again. Uh, 
but uh, before I go, I won't, before this camera dies, I want to just thank all my subscribers, and um, especially if you know you watch my videos, uh, that, that's a big help. Um, and if you give me a like and a sub, and uh, if you have something uh, you don't like about my video, you can hit you can hit the dislike, but uh, please just give me a comment, tell me what you don't like. Um, that'll help me out a lot. So. Thanks again. Have a good night. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye for now.